What's good, YouTube? Honestly, this is take two. I fucked up the first one. Um, but we're going to be talking about space today. I um, hope it's a good one. Ethan wanted to talk about We're going to pull out some topics, probably up out of our ass somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a big... I love space. So I can't wait to talk about this a little bit. Um, so I hope you guys are excited. I hope it's a good podcast. Um, next week, I'm hoping to get my mom on here so we can actually do our ghost podcast. Hopefully, if not, uh, we'll... We'll find something to talk about. It's going to be great. Um, I'm a little sore from actually working out for once. So uh, let's get right into it and let's talk. All right, take two now. Let's try this again. Better? <laughs> Better? Yeah, my mic was moving that time. I, I happened to look down. I was like, oh shit, my mic wasn't on. So I'm glad I caught that before I went to go. You should have just kept it that way. People, people would have had to guess what you were saying. Yeah, <laughs> that'd been great. <laughs> just, just add subtitles. <laughs> so I don't think there's much in the news that I really want to talk about today. Because usually we try to think of some like world news, but I don't. I mean, there's not. Fuck the news. Yeah, there's not much to really talk about. So I don't think there's not another war happening yet. So not yet. If it, if it is, it's not <laughs> not big enough for me to know. So, but I all saw... right. Well, I saw one thing, actually. I heard mm. one thing. I heard that Germany and I think the United States sent tanks to the Ukraine. Yeah, that is true. Okay. Tanks, I know tanks, Germany was tanks, one of them, tanks. but I wasn't sure about the second country. But I figured it'd be the U.S. But... So, I just, I'm going to start this off with some interesting facts here. Oh, I just... Out of curiosity, I want to know how hot some of the stars were. Because yeah. I, got a good, I got a good thing going here. So, a type A star, I don't know what that means. I didn't really look into it. I just wanted to see the temperature. Um, type A stars are hotter than your normal stars, I guess. They're white in color, maintain temperatures around 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, and that's 10,000 Celsius. Bro, 18,000 Fahrenheit? <laughs> that shit is nuts. And then the hottest, and that's the hottest of types. B and O are blue stars, which are the coolest type of type M star. What the fuck that even means, bro? Surface temperature is about 5,400 Fahrenheit and 3,000 Celsius. Bro, that's hot. But, like, I got thinking, okay, all these stars, right? And you go to space, that's 18,000 degrees. And you go to space... In space, it is negative 455 degrees Fahrenheit. You would think those fucking stars would say, like warm the fucking space up. Dude. Negative 455? With... That all has to do with like dark <laughs> matter and shit like that. Because mm -hmm. like, it's crazy to think about. Like, if you just roll down the window in a spaceship, you fucking freeze to death. You're dead. You're dead. Like, instant. You're fucking froze, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just happened to like... I was like, damn, I wonder how hot a star is. Because, like, they talk about global warming down here and stuff. I'm like, okay, well, you know, exhaust fumes obviously don't help the environment. So, let's just see what a fucking, how hot a star is. Bro, that, can you even, I wonder if you can even get close to a star to even, like, get close to touch it. Like, oh. you could fucking melt it, bro. <laughs> no, you would die away before you even got close to it. Mm-hmm. You'd probably be, I don't know, I can't remember how far we are away from the sun. <laughs> Tuck shit, I go down no, no suit. <laughs> Me too, <laughs> fuck it, bro, fuck it. Like it's hot, it's that. hot down here, this is negative 4,455 degrees up there, fuck that, bro, I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be sunbathing. We just need to, um, approach Venus, that's all you need to know, just go to Venus. See how hot Venus? it is there. Yeah, Venus, see how my hot penis? It is there. Venus, oh my the God. Venus the fetus. Venus penis. But so another fun fact. This is just for stream purposes because me and these guys already kind of, kind of talked about it. So today, supposedly there is a green comet uh, that's gonna pass by Earth, and it only pat. Now this is what's crazy to me is astronomers think, and I, I, that's a key word right there. Let's circle one line that twice. Astronomers think it only passes the Earth every 50,000 years. Bro, 50,000 years? Like, 
What? Said the last time it passed through was the Stone Age. Stone Age. Like, what, what were them guys thinking when fucker <laughs> went by? Yo, they, you know, they might have thought that was some fucking aliens or some shit, bro. Could be a spaceship. I think Thanos is on that comet. Yeah. The Guardians of the Galaxy. My God. <laughs> that's oh, Drax's yeah. spaceship. Yeah, that's Drax. It's, it's Hulk because it's a it's a green comet. Apparently, there's one heading at the sun in a few years. I wonder. Yeah. If, that's another thing. I wonder how many actually like head towards the sun and melt. Well. Yeah, a lot apparently, but. Yeah, because they get them black spots on there, doesn't that? Like, isn't that one of the things that you probably know more than I do? I haven't studied space in fucking forever. Black black spots on the sun is where areas where there's hydrogen that's depleted practically. It's like the the planet of Earth. Only once that once that ends, guess what? (laughs) Boom! There goes the sun. You're gonna get one hell of a tan. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah. Like was, when the sun go boom, one hell of a tan. <laughs> there's there's like no way to even remotely stop that though either. Like there's nothing you can do. Nope. You can't even go in the ground. Like a nuclear fallout, you can you can at least go in the ground, have a bunker, come back out, maybe a suit or something. But like uh, the sun blowing up, bro, you are fucking dead. That's the, I think when the sun blows up, I think it's gonna destroy all the planets that are orbiting it. What, um, yeah, uh, speaking of that, do you think, what is it, Pluto, do you think Pluto's supposed to be a, a planet? Like, yeah, you know, everyone has this discussion when we talk about space, like. It's a dwarf planet, so, it, I mean, yes. Technically, yes, it is a planet, even if it is a dwarf planet. Exactly. It's as a planet. Like, I've. I don't fuck with them scientists says it wasn't a planet. Like, I don't fuck with them guys, you know? I don't trust them. They tell me it was a planet this whole time, and then they're just like, you know what? Nah. Like, you can't do that. You can't You can't pull the planet card like that, bro. Like, Pluto's a goddamn planet, bro. Yeah, if, if Mercury was that small, would you still call that a planet? <laughs> <laughs> bro, isn't it like... Imagine how fast that motherfucker goes around the sun. Yeah, it's like every few days it does a whole elliptical around it because we're not in a circle, circular orbit. We're in an elliptical orbit. I don't know if I can find that or not. There was a uh, scientist that once said, and I love this because he was he was an astronomer too. Like you know, most of your old fucking scientists, they were scientists, astronomers. They were, they were everything, bro. They were study everything. Um. had this quote I want to I want to find out who it was Hey, I wonder if people still believe if we're the center of the universe. I say <laughs> there is. What well, Chris, to to put light on the subject of what you were talking about uh earlier, because I just thought of this. Um, you were talking about uh, black holes that are stronger than regular ones, which are you know supernova ones. But there's also ones that are stronger than that because the Milky Way is a black hole. I've heard that before, but I've yeah, never really like, looked hole. into it. And that has a gravitational pull. And imagine how bad, the, imagine how strong that gravitational pull is. <laughs> What is that quote? I know the quote. I just don't remember who said it. Um, with order, with order, comes science. Without science, is chaos. Chaos equals destruction. And what he was studying was is the Earth's rotation and tilt. Yeah. And he was saying that one day we're going to die because of our 
planet. If it's not the sun that blows up, it's going to be that we wobble off of our axis. Because when he studied, he studied it for years and years and years. I really wish I could find out who this was. I'm going to keep looking for it. Um, this whole podcast, I'll look for it. Because he was saying that we speed up and slow down. And that's not an order. He says without order, there's chaos. Chaos meaning destruction. So eventually we're either going to wobble off of our axis or we're going to speed up too much around the sun and still go off in orbit or the sun's going to blow up. He wasn't sure which one's first. And that shit's kind of scary, bro. Like, you imagine, like, just fucking zooming off orbit? <laughs> we're dead. We're, we're going to fucking freeze, bro. Yeah. I think the next podcast should be about the sea since this one's played. That's actually a good one. I'm not, That's a good I'm idea. I'm write that down, actually. Oh, that so, is a good one. <clears throat> so, also... To bring up that green comet that comes around every 50,000 years. Um, sorry, I had to write that down. So, you know, there's there's like something, you know, like Halley's Comet, all this. We see it every I just couple saw. of years. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it kind of, it kind of, this is one of my um, thoughts that I was, uh, um, uh, <laughs> how do I word this for YouTube? Because this is going. To... This is one of my thoughts where I was um over the influence, not under, over. Okay, y'all, you know what I mean by that. I was over the influence, if you know what I mean. Um, I got talking like we get to see like Haley's comet now, Green Comet apparently, and all these other like comets that come by every couple years or fifty thousand years, for instance. Do you guys believe in, that we could be living in like a snow globe? Uh, it could be wormholes, you know, shit like that. Like, do you believe in stuff like that, or is that just not? No, I don't believe that. I mean, I I'm not gonna put it past it because, like, I, I'm just saying, we we're, we're space is infinite, right? So how the fuck did we get to see this shit come back every? So many years. Like, it's just kind of... You gotta think about that for a second. You with me, Alex? Or are you just over there? What? I said, are you with me here? Or... Yeah. Did you hear what I just asked? No. Oh, my Lord. I said... Do you believe that we could be in a snow globe? Do you believe in wormholes? Because we get to see Halley's Comet and all these other, like, comets that pass by. And not just comets. It could be anything. But we get to see this every couple of years. Like, I, I'm i not saying, like, we live in, like, a snow globe type galaxy. But I'm saying, like, there's got to be wormholes or something. There's no way that we can see this. Yeah, well... The only the only thing about wormholes is I mean we actually we honestly don't know if wormholes are a real thing because that's just all theory because they're black holes they're related to black holes but you can't go into a black hole so <laughs> didn't hold on I gotta look at I gotta look it up speaking of black holes are you looking up uh, Stephen Hawking's black hole that he created on Earth no okay because they did that. I believe yeah, that the scientists... Back in, back in October, a black hole spit a star out that it had devoured. That's right. That's what I heard. I heard about that, too. That's... Like, that's uh, what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm just saying, it's just it's just weird to me. Read me. Like, Haley's Comet's very... What is that? Every, like, 50 years or some shit? Um, like, something like that. Like, how does it keep... I mean, I know it's in orbit. I, I get that. It's got to be in orbit somehow. Yeah, it has an elliptical. Uh, but, like... Small. I'm just thinking, like, it could be possible that it just shoots by because it's going so fast. Maybe it doesn't catch the orbit as quick. Hits a wormhole somewhere, goes through somewhere else, comes back out the other side, and we get to see it again. Because it's not... How, what is that? Is it... I I have a theory about that, that 
planet got that got spit out. It might not even have got spit out. It could just be. It could have just been the uh, how the planet. Because whenever you look at a black hole, which is really weird, but when you look at the black hole, you know how it creates that. It takes the light away, so it creates that shape yeah, around that the shape. black hole. I can't remember what that's called, but. But then it also could have been it was close to it wasn't at a, the event horizon, which is where point of no return is. But it might have been approaching it, and then for some reason it didn't. I don't know. It's just man, black holes are scary, man. I ain't gonna oh, lie, bro. It says this is what it says. Hold on. These so-called tidal disruption events happen when objects such as stars approach black holes. And the massive gravitational influence they encounter generates tidal forces that stretch the star in one direction while squashing it in the other, thus spaghettifying the stellar body. As this spaghettified material falls onto the black hole, it heats up and generates a flash of light. Occasionally, the black hole spits some of this stellar back into out into space. In other words, black holes are messy eaters. Gotcha. Yeah, it's so fucking weird and, to hear this and, I mean, weird. And then, and then I know. The, other, the other thing is is whenever whenever something's approaching a black hole, it will keep going and it will keep going and then it will just stop. And you'll still be able to see it, but it it will it will just be stationary, but you'll notice it turns red. Uh, because, okay. Because for some reason when you take away light from something, it red is the color that it turns. I I don't know why, but but then it just slowly disappears from there. Huh. And then it goes into the black hole where, well... Adios, uh, amigo! Uh, all I gotta say, once you go red, you're 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 not you're not coming back from that. Once and, you go uh, red, you're pretty much dead. Yep. <laughs> once you go red... <laughs> but like... And then like the spaghettification comes, comes and then your atoms get pulled apart slowly. So it's like a massage. No, oh, yeah, a uh, very extreme massage, but <laughs> if you want a massage of your lifetime, just go into a black hole. But see, like this is this is my point I'm trying to make with this whole wormhole and shit. It says every seventy five to seventy nine years, okay? And go back to what I said about chaos and order. Well order would be, you know, it's the same every year. Yeah. So so it's either like Earth is slowing down or the comet's not coming back consistent. Like there's something there's something messing with you know the universe, like they're, they're the galaxy. Because again, when the guy says order is science is order, without order, it's chaos. Then I I kind of I I solely believe that because. He used a very good and very simple way to explain it. Water turns ice, ice turns water. There is no there is no in between. Like that is order. That's called order. Okay, but then you add a a substance like alcohol to it. Okay? Anything over fifty percent alcohol won't freeze, right? Or I think it's fifty. So now you add that to the water, well now it doesn't turn to ice. But that's still order because you add something and then it. So it's the law of I can't remember which law it is, but there's always a. I don't remember what it says. Oh my god, I can't remember laws of <laughs> physics or anything like that. Got it. Uh, let's see, so let me catch up on what Tokes had to say. Um, like why NASA. Why NASA choose to find a way off this planet after researching not even one fourth of the sea? I believe that scientists that have been messing with I believe that scientists that have been messing with ancient relics have caused a bunch of anomalies that nobody anomalies. can yeah that nobody can explain, which has caused a bunch of the theories about the new universe combining. Because I was talking about wormholes and such. I think that's where he sent that. I never thought about ancient relics. I mean, do you guys believe in ancient relics? I, I definitely do. 
Yeah, I mean. I mean, that would be an that's an interesting take. I mean, on even it, sure. I mean, let's be real. Fucking King Tut's technically an ancient relic. I mean, yeah. I know he's mummified or whatever, but that's a that's a relic now. Like, God help me, you put that mummified body back where you found it. <laughs> yeah, because the minute it pulled out, remember motherfucking COVID <laughs> shit happened. Like, what <laughs> motherfucker trying to kill us? some like diseases that come out of tombs that you know uh we shouldn't be fucking with but speaking yeah, of which I... speaking oh, of which I, I know this isn't related to space but uh because the ice caps are melting there's dis old diseases that are starting yep. to reemerge because so. they were they were frozen in the ice yeah and we don't have immunities to it because we weren't around when they were a thing so well they didn't have immunity to it either so oh, yeah but, <laughs> we clearly. probably have a better <laughs> chance, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, we clearly gotta have a better chance than what they did, but yeah. I mean, our body. Yeah, I don't think they, I don't think they had oxygen necessarily back then. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, that was another theory of why. All right, this kind of goes with space. That's another theory. How the dinosaurs died was it wasn't a comet or anything. It was they it was lack Disney. of oxygen. No lack Ariana of oxygen. Was. Because yeah. think about how big, apparently, these creatures were. Well, not enough trees is going to, you know... You look at a bronchiosaur, bro. Them motherfuckers yeah. are huge. So they're taking up a lot of oxygen. Yeah. I know, it's hard to say. An another theory I've heard is because of Pangea starting to separate. It just, you know, they get separated into these areas where they, they don't have survivability because of evolution. So yeah. then they just died off. And that's why, and again, that's why the theory about dinosaurs was the sea animals lived because yep. seaweed gives off more oxygen than trees. So they were able to survive. Like, they could adapt easier because, you know, you're already in the water. So if you were used to warmer climate, you could just move to warmer water. Like, yeah. yeah. They do. I mean. So, I mean, I, I, I solely believe that one actually I'm gonna be real over the whole comment because I'm like that. It makes more logical sense to yeah. me. I, I I think it's because I mean issues with Pangea separating because of plate tectonics and shit like that. But which also can go hand in hand. Now that I think about it, when you say that, that also can go hand in hand with oxygen level because yeah. you know certain animals live on certain sides. Well, now you separate that. Well, half the trees are over there and no, no trees over here now, and oh. you die. It's like, um, see, I, I don't understand. I don't. I don't believe like the mammoths would die because it was warming up or anything. Because you would think they could adapt. Yeah, you think they just moved to cold, the colder climates. But then again, uh, they were I would love built, to hear that, Tokes. But they were also built for worse temperatures than what we have. That is true. That is true. So a drastic change of temperature like that might have caused issues. And I mean, maybe, I mean, I'm just throwing, throwing shit out here. Well, you think they could shed, but maybe that wasn't a thing back then. <laughs> you no, know? I mean, they, they, there was no need to shed. I was like, uh, I need all the fur I can get here. Yeah. Because, like, you got to think of, like, adaptation and everything. But, I mean, that, again, we can correlate this with space, though. I mean. Yeah. With, with the, you know, climate warming up, is it because of the chaos? Like, let's say, let's say that, I cannot think of his name. I'm going to keep looking. Fuck. Um, is it because of what he said? You know, maybe we're, maybe we're getting closer and closer to the sun. I mean, no one measures that, right? There's, and if they do, they're not going to say it. You know, you know, they're not going to tell True. us. Because the minute they say something, everyone's going to just be in a panic. Yeah. Like, well, you want to talk about chaos? Uh, here's something that would cause chaos. Um, do you know how close the nearest solar system is? If you had to take a guess, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Because it's pretty damn close. Oh well. I mean, I mean, it's it's not, but it it is. When you really think about it, it's only uh four point three light years away. That's um, that's pretty damn close. Yeah, that I mean, is. 
fucking close. And, and when you get two stars uh, getting close to each other, that can cause some some drastic chaos because then you got gravitational pulls going crazy. Well, that's like with our moon. I mean, if something disrupts our moon, yeah. Like, I mean, technically, the moon is literally our boss. Yeah, I mean, it controls the waves, the sea levels. And I, I can't stand the people that don't believe that the moon can't affect people if it affects 75% of the ocean. Like, Fair come point. on, let's be real. Let's be real. Yeah. We're, we're made up of 75% water. Like, you can tell us that, <laughs> like, a full moon ain't affecting us? Like, bro. <sighs> Without order comes... Yeah, what was the other... Here we go. I think I found it. Maybe. Free yeah, Tex, I don't know if you heard me. I, I would love to hear about... Oh, wait. Maybe that's... It could be someone who was talking about chaos theory. Scientific method. Let's read this here once. Do, 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 do. Bro, I'm never going to find this. I used to watch the fucking Discovery and History Channel all the time. And I learned so much from there, but I can never remember. Yeah, I'm trying to remember one of the... Uh... Quit stellar constellations but I, I can't remember what it was called here's this is what Tok says out of what we can what we should think about here we aren't from this planet there's about 200 there's about 200 million years that were wiped out from history about the so-called truth to how humans got here. Now, with Antarctica, there's creatures that are so to be believed the true earthlings of the planet living under the ice that have been killing soldiers for decades. I could almost get behind that theory if it wasn't for 8 Below. Because there's been scientists that's been down there, and it's usually just the weather that kills the people. But that is an interesting subject, because we actually are going to be talking about Antarctica at one point this year. Because I want to talk about Hitler's trip to Antarctica. Which, speaking of which, is it the north or south that's melting more? Or is south even melting? I think it's the north that's melting. Yeah, I think it's north. So it goes back to whoever the fuck I'm trying to find here. If the tilt is like he's saying. he What he's saying is how we're tilted now. So the, the north always points inwards, right? Like when we go around, north is always pointing inwards. No matter how we go. Right? We flip a little bit on the side. Like if you look at the orbit, we flip a little bit on the side. But north is always pointing towards the inwards. So, you know what I'm talking about, Alex, or no? No, because then how would the southern hemisphere ever have summer? What? No, no, no. I'm not... Okay, I don't know how to explain this. It points... He's No, that's what I'm trying to say. He is, he's saying that when it starts messing up, it is going to start pointing north. Okay, okay. That's, I missed a word in there. My bad. I'm still flustered from working out. My arms are, my arms are fucking jello, so I'm trying. <laughs> it literally hurts doing this right now. Guys, guys it's like this. <laughs> like, yeah, my arms. Or lifting my arms up trying to explain that kind of got me tired. But no, what he's saying, what he was saying is the north, like, when it starts happening, the north is going to be inwards more. So that would make, I mean, 
I'm not saying he's right, but let's just, for instance, Galileo wasn't wrong. And look at the tools he used. He was one of the first people to say that we wasn't the center of the universe. Which in the church went in there and burned all of his stuff. Uh, think for yourself. What do you mean? I'm the center. I'm the center of the fucking universe. Yeah, fucking right. That explains the chaos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> is it chaos or is this dumb? Uh, both. Probably just dumb. I'm probably just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I cannot fucking think of it. It's gonna bother. I'm gonna literally. I will, I will find this, and when it just randomly in a podcast, I'm gonna sit there and say this was the guy. So y'all better pay the fuck attention. This was the guy. The what? Because he was. I used to read about him. This guy was incredible. Because like I said, I was watching Discovery History, one of these fucking channels, and um, that's how I know so much about the Pyramid of Giza. Wow. Theories on Pyramid of Giza. Oh god, what did I come into? Uh, yes, but there's classified files that have been brought to light about Russian soldiers dying to a two-legged squid like being that is able to communicate. They described it as godlike being that we have no chance against. Cthulhu? Cthulhu? <laughs> That's why we also blocked off a huge portion of Antarctica to the researchers. And anybody that goes. A fucking squid? I don't know. I, I feel like that's just the, like cryptic. Russian. At that that, point. Yeah, that's probably just Russians on vodka. <laughs> With or Russians on not on vodka. On vodka. See... Yeah, that's Russians not on vodka. <laughs> yeah. Bro, what is this? Oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Tokes. With with even that theory, we have my okay. I don't want to talk too much about this because this is going to be a podcast separately. But they there's there's also files in Germany that says that Hitler was making trips down to Antarctica, making a super soldier. So I mean, that's there's a America? lot. Of, <laughs> God, there's a lot of theories oh, here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait There's a lot a of theories here with Antarctica, so maybe we'll just do a whole ass Antarctica podcast at this point. Wait, we, we haven't explored Antarctica all the way, and there's a blocked off area. Maybe they found Captain America up there in that in that yeah, ice. Yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe it ain't a fucking two legged squid. Maybe it's fucking Hitler's super soldier. Maybe it's Hitler. <laughs> Mecha Hitler. Mecha Hitler, bro. <laughs> <Chill>. <laughs> That's a Wolfenstein reference. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Now, I don't... I don't how the fuck do you get Bulbasaur as your starter, bro? What the fuck yeah, what is the this fuck? shit? I can't believe that. Yeah, oh, you're cheating, bro. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. But no, like I said, I, I think... Let's just, in theory, if... If this scientist is correct, then we're going to ban that guy from your chat. Thank you. I meant to do that, but for some reason my stream was glitching. I need to be in that podcast, and I love Antarctica. I'm totally down. Don't know when we're going to do it, though. I, it is on a list. I got Hitler, Antarctica, so we'll just make it an Antarctica podcast. Um, was well, oh, let's again. If let's say in theory that scientist is correct, so if he thinks that the North Pole is going to point more inwards, melt, we flood again. I mean, he's on to something, yeah, he's on to a lot then because that I mean, Antarctica wouldn't melt, it just get colder. That'd be yeah, something to pay be... attention to. See how, like, the temperatures of the water. Because the water would tell a lot. The water cools down and heats up quicker than land will. Oh, my God. Megan in my chat just said, uh, you know, we're going to find an Antarctica. Yeah, yeah. Avatar. 
We're gonna find out the Aang. And Appa. <laughs> Maybe that's the creature they're finding in Antarctica. They found it was Appa. Appa. Yeah. Then we're gonna fly yep, yep. bites in here. Yep. Yep. Oh, hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm gonna be There's honest though. I'm not throwing Tox's theories out, bro. I'm not. Like, again, seventy-five percent of the ocean, and we only fucking discovered yeah. like a little bit. You we'll, never we'll know. Have to watch, we'll have to watch some videos. I have some videos I can think of that uh, highlight some of the creatures that are down in the the deep sea, and that's. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, like, okay, for instance, Megalodon. Megalodon was. Apparently, he's a big enough shark that he can be in cold waters. Yeah. He, like... He's got a body fat. Ha ha ha. Only scratched the surface of the ocean. Ha ha ha. Ha. I'm sorry. It's just funny the way you worded it. We only scratched the surface. And we, don't, we don't know much about the Mariana Trench, so, yeah. But, anyway... But back to space. If we are getting to closer space. to the sun, then I mean, the North is she's gonna melt. Your um, oh my God, coral reef's gonna heat up. Well, that's like, the other. That's the other thing with the uh, the Earth constantly changing like axis and all that. It's well, I mean, if you, I don't know if you knew about how every certain amount of times. I don't know how many years it is. I don't remember, but the. Uh, uh, what is that called? The magnetic field flips. Yes, I, I remember so, hearing about that. And, that. and that definitely has to do with the axis changing. Oh, what was he gonna look up? Shit. Look up just... the uh, primordial black holes. Those are pretty damn cool. How the fuck do you even spell that? P R I M O R D I A L. They're the they're the earliest forms of black holes that you can find. They were literally made seconds after the well, if you believe in the theory of the Big Bang, it's it's related to that. They're also good candidates for being seized to supermassive black holes. Massive. There's so much shit that I mean, they can go wrong in space that we can't do anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and the other thing is involving. I mean, we're still. We don't. Our we have a lot of stars in the sky, but um, there's new ones that are gonna show up because. It takes light years for light to show up from the further the planets are or stars. So, yeah. You, you look up into the sky and you see all those stars and then you're like, man, that's a lot of uh, suns and or stars, I mean. And, uh, yeah, th that's only, that's not even a quarter, a sixteenth. Uh, oh, my God, I don't even know how many that would be that we can see. It's uh, not a lot. So, okay. Bring it bring in up like repetitive situations here. It is crazy to think about that only in certain like months of the year you see certain constellations. Like that's just that's still mind blowing to me. Uh huh. I'm always been uh, fascinated with space, but like that, that is one thing that like when you sit down and you actually think about it, it's like, bro, this only comes in August, or this only comes in you know in space. Because my favorite one um, is Orion the Hunter, and it don't show up. I think it's only in the fall. It usually shows up. Because Alex will know. I go out there usually close to like august or something and i'm like hey i'm gonna look for a ryan the hunter i can find a ryan so fast i'll look up and i got there he is
Damn. Speaking of Galileo. 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 Gottfried. Talking about Gottfried. That's a fun fact. Newton took Lebanese to court, accusing him of st having stolen his ideas. Yet later, it was Lebanese's ideas that were used. So Newton stole Lebanese's ideas. Seems like every scientist steals from another. Yeah. Yeah, but back then, I think it would be a lot harder. Yeah. It definitely would be. Especially with Newton. I mean, he was always working, too. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, we think... Let's talk about scientists for a second. Um, Nikolai Tesla, he was he was making electronic email. He was making the first emails that he could send electronically. Well, he made it, but then someone in Germany already got it. He got... I think the guy in Germany did it. It was either a few months or like a year or two before Tesla did it. And I'm like, bro, that like that's like mind blowing to me. You have two scientists that just did two of the that's exact odd. same hey, things. I'm gonna make, yeah, I'm gonna make emails a thing. So it's like the next question is who put that thought in their head? Like that that's what fascinates me. Yeah. Was it Thanos from space? <laughs> On the green comet. He's looking for them stones. Oh man. He's gonna you know, if he only wanted to snap half the universe away, he'd come here and be like, never mind, I'm doing the whole damn thing. Ha. How many okay, here's the next question I wanna look up. This was another interesting fact. How? There it is. <laughs> Bro. All right. This, without looking it up, how many Earths can fit across Jupiter's equator? Across the equator? Yeah, just take a guess. Ha <laughs> ha I'm That's just to crazy to me. I'm trying to think because I I remember like watching something. It, they would talk about how many Earths could fit into a plant this, these planets. And well, this one yeah, this one know. says how many fits inside Jupiter. Yeah, <laughs> that's a crazy number. How many Earths? It's yeah, how like many thirty million for inside? How many Earths can fit on the across, equator across the equator? Uh... The equator of Jupiter? Yes. No, the equator of Earth, Alex. That's why I was like, I hope you mean another planet. But it's crazy, though, because it says if Earth was the size of a grape, okay, Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. Holy shit. So you're looking at, holy. Ooh, 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 uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't want to... <laughs> You don't want Earth to get to that size, though. That'd be bad. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys know. It's 11 Earths could fit across the equator. I went, Damn. Way, too I went way too high with my one thought. But but how many could fit inside? Like 300. If they do, if they do math correctly, which most of this is just theories... Yeah. One says 1,100. The other one says 1,300 Earths could fit inside. Okay. <laughs> Bro, that's a crazy <laughs> Bro, are you good? You... What like in... <laughs> he sneezed and hit the desk. <laughs> Fuck it, I just see I my whole... <laughs> yeah, my whole all my screen shook. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Talking about Jupiter. Maybe you hit planet. Ah, oh, damn. 
This one says 1,321. Hard to say. What the fuck is that? That's crazy. 1,300, bro. Jupiter, do you know how many times Jupiter has saved our asses from asteroids? Uh, yeah. I think it's cool they have that video footage, or, or maybe it's just a theorized footage of what it looked like seeing Jupiter get hit by an asteroid. But it's protected our asses. Thank, thank you, Jupiter. Yeah. Thank you, Jupiter. Everyone calls her Jupiter. It's not Juniper. What? All right, here's a good question. Here's a good Hi, question. Jupiter. What, Alex? What What do you think the coolest planet is? Coolest planet, Uranus. <laughs> I don't know. His anus is pretty cool. <laughs> um. Disconnect, Alex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Disconnect. I don't know. I've never really thought about it. I think Saturn's kind of cool with its rings. Oh, speaking of Saturn, they just found a planet recently that has... Yeah, uh... I, like I did a, see that. I belt, did see that. The belt is, like, fucking, like, 400 times the size of Saturn's. I did, I, see yeah, that. I did happen to see that. I'm like, holy fuck, dude, that motherfucking ring is huge, bro. That'd be oh, cool bro, if we had a ring. Oh, like, oh, wait, but think about it. Think about the gravitational pull of that. How strong is the gravitational pull of that planet? <laughs> Like, I think it'd be cool if Earth had a ring or something. Yeah, it would be cool. I always how thought many, that would be cool. How many moons is that? <laughs> like, bro, that's dope. Because Jupiter over here has, like, what, 27 or something 20, like that? Yeah, I think it's 27. But isn't this... there, let's see, Saturn? Isn't there, what's what's the other one with, isn't the ring all opposite? Or am I? I, think, I no, I think you're right. I, I think there's one that's like that, but I don't remember if that's like a real thing or not but how many what about, what about you chris what's what's the coolest planet like the coldest or just cool? no like... no 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 what's the coolest i'm like, gonna, I'm gonna have to go that's with... cool. i'm i'm honestly you know this is just a weird statement but i'm gonna have to go with mars i was gonna say mars and i was like let me think of the other planets Fair first. point because it's like why does I mean it's because we have a, you know, our layers that we have. But why is it that we had the layers but Mars didn't? That's I mean that's weird. I just I think and this is my explanation because you guys already know I always have an explanation for my shit. <laughs> um, my explanation is how adaptive Mars is. So it's like. Uh -huh. You know, for years, yeah. they were searching for water, but never found it. And then all of a sudden, they found water. They, like, they okay. found water. It's like, Weird. Uh, what? But there's no plants. And then years later, they started seeing plants grow and bacteria. And I'm like, bro, that could be how Earth was made right there. Because yeah, they be say... the beginning of another Earth. Because they say the, the red of, of Mars is would be like a nuclear um, fallout for us. Like yeah. that's how that was. That was a nuclear cloud, and it's starting to. They said it's starting to like, not clear up, but like, clear up. Like yeah. it's not. It's not as red as it used it to might, be. It I'm might. It like, might be bro. getting ready to start forming uh, layers. Uh, so again, like... that could even go back to Tox's theory that we're not from this planet. We could have had a fucking nuclear fallout back in fucking Pain. God knows when. We did end up making a space shuttle and going to fucking earth like who fucking knows like the the theories around all this is just crazy to me yeah because it's it's not out of the question it really isn't i mean what uh einstein einstein said, said the first world war will be sticks and stones the second one will be nuclear no yeah yeah, the second will be nuclear, and the third one will be back to sticks and stones. That's what he said. I'm like, bro, that's like, that's kind of a little creepy because he kind of already, you know, <laughs> kind of already talked about that. <laughs> like, we were going to have a nuclear war with um, North Korea. Yeah. So, it, I don't know, that is kind of crazy to think about.
But yeah, that's mine. Mars is. Mm. Neptune has rings. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, it does. There was another, another yeah, planet that had rings. Yeah. It says four, but I don't ever remember. I mean, hell, that could have been fucking. That's a re more recent discovery, I think. Um, Jupiter. Jupiter, I think, is one of the coolest because, I mean. Jupiter is cool. I mean, we can't even go on the planet because it's how fucked up the weather is. Yeah, like one of their weather, like on. No. No one better complain about the weather, because it could be Jupiter. <laughs> well, I remember they were saying, like, one of the storms on Jupiter is as big as Earth. Like, that's nuts to that's, me. Uh, I mean, I mean the ring, the uh, not the ring, the uh, red dot on it, that's, that's a storm right there. It means there's a lot of negative and positive energies being thrown around there. So the exact composition of Uranus is, and I always use dot or normally seven inches um it's still a mystery like the seven composition inches. of it they don't know what it's made of you can fit two and a half raccoons in that bitch oh you're talking about uranus not uranus oh uranus <laughs> as soon as you said raccoons i was laughing i knew what the... yep so they say on this website says Mars may eventually form a ring system. Terraform. That'd be fucking cool. One of the Martian moons, Phobius, is gradually falling towards Mars. Oh, well, that might put an end to that. Um, the orbit of Phobius is well, slowly decaying, and as a result, it is inching towards a red planet in about 7 million years. <laughs> Phobius will be so close to Mars that the planet's gravity will rip Phobius apart. Huh. Damn. And debris from Phobius will enter in an orbit around Mars and form a fucking ring, bro. That'd be fucking dumb. Let's go to Mars. Let's fucking go. What sucks is, like, yeah, even if Mars does terraform and we move, then, like, we can put people there. It's it. The problem is, is uh, if sun blows up, well, we're fucked anyway because... You're still in the same solar system. True. Adios, motherfucker. Um, it still fucking be almost impossible because you have to go pretty far. Yeah, Mars is pretty far from us. You'd almost have to learn, like, what is that? Where you like freeze or whatever? We'd have to be able to adapt to shit like that because that's the only way you're yeah. getting there. Yeah. I think it's kind of cool when we can see Saturn in the sky. I always think that's cool too. That's that is really cool. Which speaking of which, I keep telling Alex we need to get another telescope. I have one, but I want to get a better one. I want to get one where I can hook up to my computer and like yeah, take I'd pictures love to do that. Stuff. I'd love to do that too. But that's expensive. Yeah. Yeah, but in the end, totally could be worth it. It's definitely worth it. Cause like, imagine some of the pictures you can get. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Well, I never hook up to your phone. Dude, some of these ones you hook up to your computer? I don't even want to know the prices of them. And there's $3,700. It's fucking insane, dude. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be buying one of them. Never mind. But here's Best Buy. Oh, boy. I don't know, not too bad. Five hundred dollars. Bro, do you, do you know about that planet that is all is made of nothing but diamond? I think I've heard something about that. So who's, playing, playing who, who's playing Minecraft? Yeah. 
How do we know aliens didn't put it there, huh? Just saying. Hiding all the diamonds. That's fucking crazy. What what are they gonna call that planet? Probably something stupid. Probably. Might as well just call it Diamond then. <laughs> Not saying the name's stupid. I'm just saying if the plane is made of diamond, might as well just call it Diamond. Here's a cool fact about Mercury. Uh, sunrise and sunset on Mercury are uh, spectacular to behold. Two and one half times larger in the sky than seen on Earth. The sun appears to rise and set twice during a, a Mercury day. It oh. rises, then arcs across the sky, stops, moves back toward the rising horizon, stops again, and finally restarts its journey towards the setting horizon. That's cool. That is pretty wicked. Yeah. And that's only that's because the uh Mercury rotates three times for every two orbits around the sun. That makes sense. Three times. But that's um speaking of orbit, that's another reason why they say that um Again, back to that scientist that I can never fucking think of his name. I'm going to be so mad when I figure it out. Um, he's, he also mentioned the fact that there's actually 23 and a half hours in a day. 23 and a fourth. Yeah, 23 and a fourth. I, I had a pause there. I was like, that don't sound right. Anyway, that's why we also have a leap year. Because again, yep. it is not that order. There is no yeah. order with the Earth, so he's he he was strictly saying like it, he says it, I'm gonna be dead before this happens, but he don't know he didn't he didn't know the time frame or nothing. He just knew that it was gonna happen at some point. I'm like, bro, this is crazy. And I don't even think it was this guy that was talking on the TV. I think he was reading off someone else's work. Like he was reading someone else's work because it's an old quote. That's probably why I can't fucking find it no more. It was some, um, I want to say it was some French or German. Which would make sense, let's be honest. Americans are dumb. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm pretty stupid. I can't remember the guy's name. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, referring back to Earth being the size of a grape, if that happened, uh, Earth would, could potentially become a black hole. Yeah. Because if you shrink something so far down, it, it creates, because of the gravitational pull, it creates a... a uh, an anomaly. Chaos. Yeah. Speaking of shrinking down to nothing, um... Does anyone else kind of find it weird? We're, we're on the subject of space. But I know I keep talking about this one scientist that I can't remember his name. The whole fact that the Earth is heating. Let's just use our hometown, for instance. Me and Alex was talking about this the other day. That I remember it in December. It didn't matter if there was snow on the ground. It was still fucking cold. In December. Yeah, it was still yeah. cold. But like now we're in. I mean, this is the first of February, so congratulations, we made it. The first month was a trial month. Okay, now we're on eleven month subscription here. So <laughs> February is supposed to be our coldest month, and so is January. But January, I mean, just the other day was fifty five degrees here. Fifty five degrees, yeah. What? Like I, I just I think that's weird to me. Because it's like one of them things like, let's say global warming is a thing, we're fucking up our planet. Okay, let's use that theory too. We can add that with the chaos theory here. Because if we are getting, happen to get closer to the sun, then obviously we're going to heat up. And no one knows the distance of, I mean obviously we know the distance of the, like, the heat rays off of sun. But even if we do get closer, you don't know how our Earth is going to react to it. 
Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just, it's just it's just weird to me because it's like that stuff that's out of our control, but could be it could be real because again, it's for, it's been like this for years now where December just felt like it was fucking spring. Yeah. And when I was growing up, it was never like that. That's I mean, that's only 28 years, but I mean, that's 28 years that the earth Yeah, I mean, I, I I think back to my 4th grade year of uh, elementary school. That was the year in that February where we got how many feet of snow on the ground. Yeah, I was you. I mean, obviously, do you remember Sandy? I mean, you had to be old enough for Sandy, right? That was back yeah. in October. I mean, that was in yeah, October. Yeah, that was in October too, and that that one was bad too. That that created. See, so that much was a. Snow. I guess that was kind of an anomaly with, uh, an uh hurricane that was late. It was a late season hurricane that came up through and fucked everything up because yeah, it was still cause Sandy, Yeah, say like, because Sandy wasn't supposed to happen. Like, it was too late, technically speaking. But and, and, and when I talk about this, I also talk about the coral reef. Okay, so let's say we are getting closer to the sun that heats up the water. Well, the coral reef stops hurricanes. I don't want to say stops hurricanes. It slows hurricanes. But if the coral reef starts dying, it stops you know, helping out the hurricanes. It like, uh, I think Alex, is. you were, you were around when I, we found this out that an earth or, uh, two hurricanes hitting back to back. It normally will not hit the earth or yeah. Land at a category five because of the coral reef, but back to back it happened. And that scientist was like, okay, something wrong here. Like that does yeah. not, that's and, not a, yeah. And, it, and it's proven that the coral reef is dying. So it's getting too hot. Yeah. It's getting too yeah. hot and it's dying. And it, it, it's crazy to me to think like that because, okay, there's like a million theories that we can go through. Let's be honest. Yeah. But like the three that I could believe in global warming, the earth is cracking because if there is a molten core in earth and it starts cracking, well, I mean, the first thing is going to heat up the ocean, right? Yeah. I mean, let's be real here. And then, obviously, us getting closer to the sun. I'm just, that's weird to me. So, that's the three theories I could believe in. Because, again, coral reef dying. The first thing that would heat up if you would crack open the earth is like an eggshell is going to be the water. Well, that's also going to create tsunamis, um, earthquakes, all kinds of shit. An earthquake underwater is a fucking hurricane. I mean, or or a tsunami. It depends or, on. Or tsunami. Depends on how it breaks. Or, or Japan. Yeah. Or Japan. And I, that's another scary thing that all these nuclear plants are like around. Like it might not be a nuclear fight that happens. It could just be a nuclear fallout from the okay. nuclear plants being close to the ocean. Yeah, they they really they need to. St- look at the uh where the plate tectonics you know where they collide the most and be like yeah we probably shouldn't build a nuclear plant in this area because <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> we s- well, all your fish. but i mean chernobyl wasn't because of an earthquake i was just because of a meltdown but but it could be i mean it could yeah. happen but, or japan <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, it could have happened. Volcanoes, so it could it could happen at that meltdown. Let's say uh, there is a higher up that looked out and says, "Hey, you know, you're really really close. Let's just have a meltdown and then not a tsunami hitting it. That'd be better." And now he can't walk. <laughs> or someone someone went in there and sabotaged it and melted it yeah. down. But. Yeah, I'm actually, speaking of Antarctica, that's a good one. That's a good one. Anything you want to add, Alex? I know you look like you're tired. Not really. Ethan's over there jacking off or something. (laughs) All right. Well, that was a great podcast. We're going to play some... I'm going to play some Apex. I'm assuming these guys are too. Apex. Apex. Um, Because we've been kind of frying lately. I'm going to take a break here. Switch everything back over. Take a piss. Probably let the dogs out. 
but we'll be back with some Apex. So, mm-hmm. dude, peace out. We'll see you next fucking Wednesday.